Hello and welcome to the Lightroom Primer. I'm uh, basically just going to go over a little bit about how Lightroom works and um, show you some of the modules. But other than that, this really is a whole nother course. It's not uh, designed to really just do it haphazardly, go, go in there and muck around a little bit. Anyway, so I'm just going to open this up. And um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, is show you how the import process works. I'm not going to import anything. Uh, for some reason, this computer has some issues with it. My laptop is fine, but uh, this is the one I have to record off of. So anyway, um, you open up Lightroom, and when you open it up for the first time, it asks you for some preferences and everything, which was you uh, then tell it where you want to get where you want the photographs to go and everything. So uh, I will initially hit import, and it's going to ask me where I want to go. So I want to go to an external hard drive. So I would uh, click on this. And I would pick, let's say, 2017, and I'd pick a folder out of that and click on that and then hit import. So uh, that's the import feature. You can also go over here and you can have a second copy go to another external hard drive or someplace else that you want to go. Um, you can also build smart previews, um, which allows you to work on files uh, when you don't have the files present on an external hard drive, for instance. So anyway, um, that's kind of in a very short um, messages to how you use the import feature. Uh, from the import feature, you uh, would then go to the library module, and uh, you can go down here and use these this grid view or the single view, which is right now. If you hit grid view, it shows you all of the uh, images in a grid view, which is is kind of nice. You can also see it in a film strip at the bottom of the the bottom of the uh, frame as well. Um, so if you want to click on one photograph and have it come up as a single image so you can work on it, then you can go to the uh, develop module. Now there's several ways that you can go through this grid view and select just a few images. And what I usually do is, is I go in here and I'll, I'll, I'll blow it up to large like this and I'll scroll using the arrow keys on my keyboard to go through and figure out which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't. So let's say I want to keep this one, I'll hit P and it'll flag it as a pick. So I can, and if I want to undo that, I just hit U, which undoes it, un, excuse me, undoes it. So um, I like to go through these images and uh, pick several from it and make its own. Um, its own own collection. So when things are picked, it says picked as flag. So you go up here and you do edit and you say select by flag and you hit flagged. So it's going to select all of the images that are flagged, which in this catalog there might not be any. But as soon as they're all flagged, let's, let's, well, I've already got this one thing set up for this. So I'll go up to uh, library and hit new collection and only the pictures that are flagged will go in there. Like I said at the beginning, this is a very, very short primer on this. It's way more complicated than this. And what I would normally do is, is I would import the photos. It's going to come in as one large collection of pictures and I would go in there and select the pictures and then bring them out to their own little collection. So um, that's the, uh, the library module, which has a lot going on in it, and um, I'll go over it at some point later. But you can add keywords to it. All your uh, EXFI information is in here, and you're able to go in and, and add keywords, and you can basically go crazy. It's also got a quick develop module that you can do, but I never use that. Um, so anyway. That's how you uh, use the library feature. Now, the next module is develop. The develop module is um, where you're going to do most of your work. And uh, when the computer decides it's going to work. So here, what I've already done some uh, monkeying around with this, but you have a lot of control. You can adjust the color balance. You can... Um, uh, let's see, you can adjust the exposure. 
you can play with the contrast a little bit and all of these other controls in here which really make this particular the, this is just the basic uh, module here in the develop module but you can adjust the tone curve you can uh, change it to black and white you can put it back to color you can do HSL um, highlight and shadow luminance control you can also do split toning which I haven't messed around with very much and also sharpening which is the last thing you do um, as you can see you can sharpen it and you can see it this because this block here is a hundred percent so anyway um, and the noise reduction you can do that there's lens corrections enable uh, this one doesn't I don't seem to have a this is for my uh, my Canon lens so it's I've got a had a, a tele extender on there so it's probably not even gonna list it so it does camera calibrations it does uh, vignetting and adding grain um, you can transform you can do some really cool things if, if your your pictures not balanced correctly um, so uh, that's pretty much all there is here um, I'm not going to go over the map feature because the picture has to be geotagged to do that the book feature is really really interesting I've used it twice three times I don't know about five times now um, basically what you do is, is uh, you open up the book feature finally somewhere along the line it will open up come on you can do it you can also tell oh there we go all right so it's opening up all the images I have uh, 146 of them or something so you can tell here that it's and this is this is automatically output to blurb um, they haven't added anything else in here anyway uh, this is a standard landscape size 8 by 10 as you can see you got different sizes here you can pick you can pick a 13 by 11 large landscape uh, this is change size and do a relay out these are all automatically put in there the, the images what I've done is is I haven't uh, I haven't done that in the past what I've done is is I've just made a collection and then I put the images in there um, myself instead of doing auto layout so you can you can change it any way you want which is really kind of cool then what it does is after you've gone through all these um, things here you know the padding the text whatever you want to add for text and everything um, what you're able to do is, is you're able to you can put a, a graphic in here if you want um, the best thing about this is is that um, when you want it when it it's all complete and you got it the way you want to do it you just export this book to a PDF or you can export it right to blurb so it says send book to blurb you can do that which is great because it just loads it to blurb to your blurb account uh, export to PDF just makes it a big uh, giant PDF all right so that's the book book version here um, slideshow is a uh, basically it's it's a way to show off your work in slideshows which is really kind of cool you can add music to it um, makes a little video out of it or a PDF um, and you can adjust it a zillion different ways and you can put a shadow behind it and it's it's pretty uh, amazing the, the amount of things that you can do go down here and you can change the backdrop you can put um, titles in and um, then you can export it out as a, as a video and you can put the video on your know, whatever whatever channel it is you have and I think you can you know whatever your social media channel you want to do and I, I believe you can add, you can add music to this too it says music right here add music so um, a brief overview of the uh, slideshow feature the print feature is uh, I'm gonna do this right now see if I can well it's probably gonna take a little while to open up now but anyway um, it's gonna do the all right so it just it does, does this one picture here so um, I've got this set up right now for a 17 by 22 I believe yeah so what you want to do here is you want to adjust these sliders here so you get the image to fit to the paper 
And you do that by going into page setup and you go look over here for whatever whatever it is you're printing on, whatever paper you're printing on. And uh, you make sure you pick the, the printer that you're going to. And uh, let's see, oh yeah, print settings. Oops, no, well, there's another picture. Print settings. This is uh, the way to set things up so that you have everything going correctly. So you want to go in here, go to print settings, and you've got the type of paper, how it's going to be printed, and all those uh, things that you have to take care of before you print it. Now, you, when you get all that done, you go over here to print job, and you, uh, let's see, you've got here manage by printer. That's not what you do. You go in here and you pick, this paper happens to be um, um, exhibition fiber. You go in here and pick exhibition fiber. And uh, after you've made a print, if you don't like it, then you can adjust the print in any way you want, which is kind of cool. Um, you can also add a, uh, an identity plate to the image too, which, see? You move it wherever you want it, which is kind of neat. So anyway, uh, that's the print module and uh, an overview of that. And then you can, you can create a saved print so you just title it and hit save, and it, um, it'll go in underneath this uh, collection here. So anytime you want to print this, it's right there. Okay, so that's the print module. The next is the uh, web module. And the web module will build, will build web, web pages for you. So you can, uh, these looks like, looks like any standard you know, web page. And you can create a bunch of these things and then you can put them up on your website. Um, and you can adjust them in a zillion different ways, of course, just like anything else, a grid page um, or not, grid, not a grid page. But it, uh, you can add titles to it and everything. It's really very good. Um, there's another view, square view. I don't know what the heck that is. Track gallery, I'm not sure. Oh, this, Go side to side, yeah, that's weird. All right, so, like I said, it's, it's basically a uh, discovery process because I don't use this section at all. Anyway, uh, that's it for the overview of Lightroom. Um, I use Lightroom exclusively. I only use Photoshop to uh, do certain things. I, the, um, in the develop module, the spot removal tool is not very good, so I use the one in Photoshop because it's much better. Um, but most everything you can do inside of Lightroom, uh, Photoshop allows you to do it as well, but I think Lightroom approaches it much better. So anyway, that's it. It's uh, the Lightroom Primer.